Now on Blu-ray from Bill Zabub Productions is the Texas Chainsaw Mascara. And it says right on the cover, this is not a parody. This is a low budget thriller, uh, light thriller, horror, drama, a little bit of a comedy. It's, uh, it's, it, it was interesting. This is, so I've heard of Bill Zabub for a long time. I always knew he did low budget, kind of edgy, horror, saucy, fetishy kind of stuff, but I'd never actually seen one. So it was, it was interesting to finally see one of these. So it, uh, it's, it's, this is not for everybody. Basically, the story is a, is a small, is much like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. A, a bunch of friends are in a, in a small car in Texas, and they're trying to scout Chainsaw Massacre locations. They're trying to find where the movie was shot. Their car breaks down, and what do we do? A woman shows up, very nice woman shows up, a local. And, oh, I, I forgot to mention, all the people in the car are like uh, northern liberals, so to speak. So d down to the, you know, I don't, I don't believe in religion t-shirt and making fun of the local customs and all this stuff. And this nice local lady asks if they need any help. And basically this really pedantic uh, Yankee guy is uh, mocking her and being kind of rude and correcting her. And the, she, she doesn't take to that. She doesn't take kindly to that. So basically they say, come back to our farm. We can, we'll come with us and we'll, we'll fix your car. We'll get you back on the road. And therein becomes... A terrible experience for these people. They are basically held captive. They are cussed out. They are humiliated. They are uh, brutalized. And as the as I'm fond of saying, who will survive and what will be left of them? So um, interesting film. I, at first, I thought it was it was going to be ent entirely a comedy because of a lot of the interplay between the the liberal guy and the local Southern people is kind of funny and it's kind of poking fun at at the at the liberal guy and uh, his you know very closed minded beliefs about people from the South and it, it's uh, I think it kind of, that spoofery kind of goes both ways here and uh, some of the acting is is not bad and some of the acting is not good it's very uh, low budget amateur ish in terms of the performances, but a couple are, are not bad at all. The The camera work is pretty good overall, and it's uh, it's not very long. This runs uh, 72 minutes, and maybe feels a little long for me at 72 minutes, but uh, it's, who's this for? Is it fans of Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Probably not really. It does, it's not really, as it says in the cover, it's not a parody, it's not a shot for shot, it's not a beat for beat. You do have this weird kind of family, but it all pretty much takes place in somebody's barn. They're just kind of hanging out in the barn and, and, and cussing each other out and, and the, sort of in the yard around the barn. There is like a, a leather face avatar guy, this guy with a pig mask and stocky guy with a pig mask who never speaks and eventually a chainsaw comes out. And it's, it's not overtly gory. There's a lot of nudity in this. There is uh, a lot of cussing in this. But I, I don't think this is the kind of thing for mainstream people. I think this is something for horror fans who like something a little edgy or, or indie movie fans or, or, or metalheads or, or something like that. I think there is an audience. Obviously, Bill Zabub has been doing this for decades. So obviously, you know, he, he has a way to keep making movies and getting them released. So it wasn't really for me, but it was more interesting than I expected it would be. It was better made than I expected it would be, but it's still a little loose. A li it's, a, it's a little loose and a little not what you come to expect if you're watching mainstream movies all the time, for better or worse. So uh, that's not all. This has, as an extra, a re-edit of a film called Dirtbags that runs two full hours. <laughs> it is uh, shot on video. It's, it has a, it's touted as having a cameo by musician Peter Steele in it, which is a pretty small cameo. And how do I describe this? It's basically, you know, two guys sitting on a couch and, and, and it's, it's kind of, they're kind of lazy slacker dudes and there's a lot of cussing. There's a lot of like kind of casual racist, homophobic, uh, uh, misogynistic stuff. But I can't, it kind of feels like they're making fun of that or it kind of feels like they're trying to put something in there really to offend everybody. Trauma-esque, shall we say, where it's just characters with the worst possible attitudes and off the cuff saying really crude stuff all the time, acting really inappropriate all the time. And I, again, I know there's an audience for this kind of thing. It's not what I'm into. Uh, I did find it amusing at times, but after a while it got a little tedious. For me, 
because it's a lot of goofing off. It's very loose. It's the kind of film, and this might not be wrong at all, it's the kind of film that looks like a bunch of friends got together and just kind of screwed around and made a movie. And again, at times it's very competent. Somebody put this all together. <laughs> it, they finished a the movie, and they got it released on Blu-ray, and they got this schmo talking about it for whatever that's worth. But uh, it really it really wasn't for me. It's the kind of thing I can see people digging. It's the kind of thing I think people who, who again, liked the trauma kind of stuff will probably be into, or Howard Stern, or stuff that is just kind of aggressively inappropriate, shall we say. Uh, so there, so that, there's that. Uh, extras also include, uh, in, my, in my notes I wrote, not for normal people. <laughs> uh, in the extras there is a... a music video, something called Painful Meow, that's this very crude uh, CGI animated short that Zabub did. I think he did the music for it too. Uh, then there's another thing called Gaylord, which is 25 minutes, and it looks like it was either outtakes from Dirtbags or additional stuff they shot when they were making Dirtbags that basically revolves around this character from Dirtbags that's a very kind of offensive gay stereotype. So it's basically 25 minutes of that, and it's just... It's a lot of crude gay jokes, basically. So uh, this release was not for me. It probably isn't for you, but it, it, there are people who, who would probably dig this. So uh, file, as they used to say at local city council meetings, uh, we'll, we'll take that as informational. I'm filing this as informational. If you want to know, if you see the box cover, Texas Chainsaw Mascara, what's that? I just told you. And it's available now on Blu-ray from Bill Zabub Productions.